Hello. This demonstration is to give an insight into how to set up the event monitoring for TrueSight Operations Management or BPPM using TrueSight IT Data Analytics. <clears throat> for me, when I was working with it, it wasn't entirely obvious, um, even having read the documentation, it wasn't very obvious how to do that so that events that are showing up in the cells populate the provided content pack so that events show up. So we're going to start by logging into IT Data Analytics, which I have here. This is a 2.0 version. And <clears throat> this is my default dashboard. And you can see that I have a variety of data collectors set up and information is coming into the server. Um, there's different things um, bringing various log data in and there's some collectors that have um, no data and there's several of them related to TrueSight down here that aren't configured correctly, so there's no data. But one of the ones that always um, puzzled me, and I wanted to work very badly, actually some of my customers wanted to use this as well, is this TSIM Events Critical. So this is part of the TrueSight or BPPM content pack, and there's a bunch of data uh, dashboards and other things pre-configured, but as you can see here, there's nothing showing up. There's no events, there's no... Um, detail around the events that are occurring at the BPPM cell level or TrueSight cell level. And I believed originally that I had configured it correctly and then went through the documentation again, did a little extra poking around and figured out that I had neglected to do part of the configuration. So that's done under the administration tab. And these are my data collectors that you can see and some of them are running correctly. Um, these are not running because the server itself is offline, so we're not actually able to collect data right now. But down here at the bottom, you can see that we've configured the TrueSight log, the web services log, and other logs related to the functioning of the TrueSight operation the server, but there's nothing related to the cells. <clears throat> and we've also already in our configuration, we did the steps of configuring the external configurations. And so we've done that, and that's kind of step one. So you do have to configure your uh, the external configuration to connect IT Data Analytics to BPPM or TrueSight Operations Manager. So we've done that here, and we've identified the cells that are present in our system. <clears throat> so the next step is, and this is where I was missing uh, the information, so under Data Collectors, we're going to create a new data collector and I'm going to name it events from true site cell and the key here is that we're not going to be monitoring a file we're going to be pulling data from an external configuration so we're going to say monitor using external configuration and you can see here right away it's picked up my uh, TSIM because I've identified that in my external configuration so it already knew what to do and then <clears throat> I can go back seven days which is a little different than some of the other data collectors so it'll actually go back and read seven days worth of data um, from the cell that I identified and then I need to pick which cell I want and when I did this the first time I didn't do it exactly right so I did actually have to go and do this a couple times and pick these different ones here and that's only because of the way I've configured my setup which probably isn't um, best practice <laughs> but uh, being a lab environment we were trying different things so I'm going to pick this first one here and see if it works you can set your poll interval um, there's not really much in the way of um, advanced options but you could set some things to ignore here um, and of course we could put a tag or two in just to help find things um, and I'm going to add that tag just so we can find it. And then I'm going to hit create down here at the bottom. <clears throat> it did create the data collector successfully, <clears throat> but we have to wait a little bit to see if it runs correctly. If I've correctly identified the external configuration that has the event cell data, the poll status will turn green and we will be able to see that it's collecting event data from the cell. <clears throat> if in my data configuration I picked the wrong external configuration then I'll get a either a yellow or a red status uh, indicating that it ran but it wasn't actually able to find what it was looking for so 
I gave it a one minute polling cycle here so let's refresh and, and see if it's started to collect yet And we do have a yellow status here. So if I look at the output, this is exactly what I got the first time I tried it. So it's an error in getting events from the VPN server. So <clears throat> we can look at more information, but there really isn't anything. Basically what it's telling us is that it's trying to go to a cell and get data, <clears throat> but the external configuration isn't correct. So it actually is not going to the cell. So we can edit it <clears throat> and try it again. And this time I'm going to pick this cell and we'll try it again. It was updated successfully. So, we'll, and again, with the one minute polling cycle, we'll have to wait a minute and see if it starts to pull. And if it does, then great. And if not, then we'll try the last one I have there. And we can refresh this to see if it see if its status changed. The, the first time I went through this, it, when I did select the correct one, it eventually turned to green. I didn't even have to look at the log. Um, but there we have it. So we can see that this time I picked the correct one. Events from the TSL. If I look at the log output, here was my first run. And you can see here it was successful and it found 346 events that it brought in. So if I hit OK, and now if I go back to my dashboards, Again, it goes to the default dashboard. And we can see that it's actually pulling some stuff here. And if I look at my events critical, now, as you can see, there is a whole host of things in this dashboard that was not here before. We can see where it's coming from, Troublemaker Host. Um, we can see the various abnormalities by host. And some of this, uh, you know, it's, it's going to vary depending on how active your uh, event cells are. So these, these actually right here aren't filled in yet, but they will get filled in over time. And we can click on a couple other of these and there you go. We can see all of this is now filled in. So um, we can see where the events are coming from, from what host. And we can see the event rate by severity. And none of this was available before. Uh, before I did that configuration, these were all blank. So in summary, that's how you configure ITDA to bring event data into the content pack for BPPM or TrueSight Operations Manager.